question 17 and this one's gonna be a bit more in depth and uh, this is gonna be on distances between points lines and planes in part a says how do you find a distance from a point to a line part B says how do you find a distance from a point to a plane in part C says how do you find a distance between two lines so let's take a look at the solution to a which is the distance from a point to a line. So to determine the distance from a point to a line, we could use the fact that the magnitude of the cross product is the area of a parallelogram where the height is the distance from a point to the base, which is just a line. And uh, in my earlier videos, I didn't actually use this method. I used a different one using planes and so on. But this one's, I think, uh, I saw it online. It's uh, and I, I really like this one. This one's much easier to grasp and uh, calculate and so on. And also has to visualize as well. So, so recall from my earlier videos, so the cross product, uh, if you have a, a, a and B, so A cross B, the magnitude of it is going to be the area of the parallelogram spanned by A and B. And uh, the area is just going to be, well, uh, the length of this times by, uh, yeah, times by the height, which is going to be the length times sine uh, theta of this one there, which is, uh, again, just a rectangle. If you shift this over like this, this is just going to be a rectangle where uh, this is A and the height is H there. Like that. So just the, uh, the height of the rectangle. All right, so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, see how we go about solving this. So let's say we had, and uh, just for completeness, I'll draw the X, Y axis like this. So this is gonna be the Y, this is gonna be the Z, this is gonna be, I mean, this is gonna be the X. This is gonna be the Z like that. And let's say we had a line, and I'll draw the line like this. So we had a line L, like this. This is going to be our line L. And let's say there's a point on it that's going to be our, let's say that's our starting point Q. So point Q, like that. And the, the initial vectors are not vector. And then we have any any vector on it, R not, I mean, not just R vector. And this is the equation of the line is going to equal to R vector plus a parameter T times by the uh, the uh, direction vector V. So let's draw the direction vector along this line like that. So it's our V, like that. And let's say there's a point P right here, and we want to know the distance from this point to this line. So this is going to be point P. And again, uh, we use the area of the parallelogram. So we'll take this uh, vector like that. So the uh, vector PQ, uh, like that. And I'll just put a, this is going to be the, the, the length of this vector, PQ, like that vector. And uh, I'll, just, I'll just leave it like a uh, PQ vector, like that. And here, I'll change the direction just so it's uh, consistent. So PQ from P to Q, it, it doesn't matter which one because we're taking absolute values and distances and so on. So what we'll do now is, so we have that, and then the area of the parallelogram is going to be, well, we'll just parallel the crown all the way across there, and then this one's going to be across there. So then this area, like that, this is the area. Uh, area is equal to uh, the absolute, yeah, this is going to be uh, PQ like that, cross, and then V. So this is our B, and then the uh, direction vector is the V, and the height is going to be this uh, uh, this absolute value sine or the length of the B, which is this one sine theta, and that's going to be well this height. Uh, we could from here from here all the way down here, or we could just draw it from here to here. So that's our distance D equals two. This is going to be the distance like this P Q. Uh, that's our B sine theta, like that. And the area is equal to this one as per that equation in my earlier videos. So uh, that means we can solve for this distance d. So we'll go uh, like this. Uh, area equals to pq uh, vector cross with v vector. And this equals 2 v vector times it by uh, the distance. It's going to be pq. Um, yeah, pq sine theta. Put it like this just because this is going to be our distance d d like that so that's our, that's our distance and you can view it as uh, basically this component uh projected onto uh, this over here all right and then uh, so, uh, rearrange that so we get distance is equal to uh this pq sine theta which equals to i'll just put it there for completeness this is going to be um this is a vector the length of the vector pq onto sine theta, but we don't know what theta is. 
So we'll just put it there, but we but we know these other other terms, so then this divided by over to there. So we're going to get PQ vector cross with V divided by a V distance like that. So the cross product uh, along there. So yes, this is uh, epic, epic stuff there. All right, here, and I'll just cross, uh, I'll just bold this. So that's a di distance right there. All right, going uh, further, uh, note that uh, in 2D, so this is three dimensions, uh, but then uh, if it was in two dimensions, well, it's going to be exactly the same thing here. But um, so we could use this formula right here. This will simplify to this anyways, um, right here, because you can see the distance right there, or that direction vector there. Uh, this is a B term. The, the other one would have a C term in 3D, but if it's zero for the Z, you're going to end up something like this. Uh, so yeah, you could use this formula. So if you're distance from uh, X naught, Y naught, and from this to this line, and then this is going to be uh, this formula over here, distance equal to absolute value of uh, A, where again, A defines this line, AX plus BY plus C equals zero. So AX naught plus BY naught plus C divided by square root A squared plus B squared. And where the A and B, uh, they they govern the slope of this line. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty epic equation, so make sure to watch that video.